Hey guys, welcome back. All materials and examples used in this video is for educational purpose only. Any attempt to hack without permission is illegal. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Dorking against Trello.com. Trello is one of the software which can be used for project management. Uh, what happens is when people use Trello and create the content in say Trello, they don't keep the visibility settings properly. Sometimes they create content with the sensitive information and keep the visibility for public. When you keep visibility for public in Trello, that will uh, impose your uh, sensitive information into internet, which means you can search it through search engine like Google. So what I'm doing is just uh, telling Google that you search content from Trello and look for the text related to gmail.com and um, passwords. It's listing out plenty of information. Already I can see there are plenty of Trello pages created and that those pages contains sensitive information, which is like user ID and passwords. And that is exposed to the internet already. So this is only for educational purpose. Next time you or your team, anyone trying to create a Trello page, please make sure you're setting visibility, privacy properly. So there are three settings, three or four settings, which is available in Trello. One is private, only you can see the page content and organization or workplace, only your team or your organization can see the content. And the last setting is public. That's what the problem is. When you set the page content visibility as public, it will be available in the internet immediately. So already I can see Gmail and password. Some people created um, Trello cards with all the sensitive information and I'm searching for Yahoo and uh, password i can see plenty now and i'm doing it for hotmail also likewise you can search any sensitive information what what does it mean people are using trello without understanding its privacy visibility settings so here already I, they posted username and password all this is exposed to internet anyone can search and anyone can see it what i'm doing is i'm not attacking trello server or i'm not stealing any information i'm just searching through google and the data is already exposed to the internet people um, have to make sure their visibility settings are set up properly in trello otherwise anyone can steal your data anytime Again, I'm going to search with um, uh, MySQL uh, Google Dorking. What I can see, what I'm looking for is, is did anyone created a Trello page with MySQL credentials? Oh yes, I can see. Uh, that's the AWS MySQL database string. And uh, does it have a password? Yes, it has password also. I can see yes. So as long as you see directly from the Google, that's not a problem. But when you start using the data, that becomes illegal. That is the real hacking, not the ethical hacking. So don't try to steal anyone information. Don't try to use anyone information without that permission. That is illegal, guys. This video is just for educational purpose only. These are all the visibility settings I'm referring to. Um, so make sure or educate your people that they set the visibility settings properly. So next one, let's try to see, do we have any card information exposed in the internet through Trello? So I'm just searching content with Evisa and CVV. I can see already card number. CVV number, expiry date, name of the card, everything. Anyone can use this information and steal money from the credit card. I don't know whether listed out um, information is still valid or not. Um, uh, repeating again, what I'm doing is just searching through Google. Using the data becomes illegal and um, that becomes um, hacking. You will be uh, kept, you will be put on jail for, for that illegal thing. So don't try to steal anyone information. We can see multiple uh, social media accounts listed out. Someone created a Trello page with all the sensitive information.
let's see whether we have any other useful information like disney accounts yeah i can see someone created a disney account and they create they kept using name password for disney account in trello and that's still visible on the internet that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching video